Hello, good afternoon, how are you doing? So welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Uh, and in this video, I will be talking about uh, what do you need to prepare whenever you travel to Sapa, Vietnam. Uh, Sapa, Vietnam is uh, in a, you know, a mountainous area in the northwest of Vietnam, to be exact. And from uh, the Kanoe capital city uh, is where the Noi Bai International Airport is. Uh, to travel to Sapa is about five and a half hours on the bus and yeah everything now is very very convenient so there are plenty of the different ways but in today's video I will be talking about what do you need to prepare when you travel to Sapa Vietnam in any case if you are confused about you know actually you don't know what to do or you don't know exactly what is the itinerary or something so uh, don't hesitate to just leave a comment below or email me directly i will be sending you their uh, itinerary and something like that yeah and i also uh, have a lot of uh, tools and something like that so yeah just uh, in case if you are curious about ordering a local tourist guide so I will be the one who bring you around Sapa region and yeah because I'm a local guide and I've been working for this region for more than 15 years to be exact yeah so thank you very much first okay so let's dive in so the first thing you need to prepare when you travel to Sapa is the travel documents and the most important thing is uh the valid passport okay so the valid passport and uh it depends on uh where you are uh, from so um the visa will be uh, based on your nationality okay and you have to get a visa in advance or you can get a visa on arrivals and something like that okay uh and uh, for most of the Asian countries, um, the visa is almost free for about 30 to 60 days, depending on where you are, when, where, where you live. Okay, so the second thing is about the transportation. So uh, decide how you can get to Sapa, okay? Now, there will be a lot of limousine drivers, which is available in Hanoi or Sapa, both sides. And you can travel from Hanoi to Sapa in a limousine bus because it's very, very convenient. But the price is a little bit higher compared to uh, the sleeper bus or something like that. But don't worry, okay? The money is um, worth it because the limousine is very comfortable. It's about nine seat vans and, you know, very spacious and you can be able to sit. And it's a reclining seat as well, can be very you know relaxing and you can uh, lay down a little bit yeah five hours on the car yeah it's you know something very long okay and uh yeah the transportation you also can take a cheaper one which is um uh the sleeper bus which is cost you only about two two hundred twenty thousand for one way from hanoi to sapa and back but the sleeper bus will be longer it's about eight hours uh estimate um uh yeah uh, approximately and uh yeah the train is available as well but the train takes you like 10 hours uh, plus about one or two hours uh waiting at the uh, train station but the train will bring you the um, nostalgic uh, feeling about the old story or something like that because the train is um you're very outdated okay but the train is very uh comfortable as well i mean the cabin okay uh, the ac is available and yeah uh very uh, friendly staff over there will be observe observing and whenever you need something yeah uh, they will be able to help you okay so uh and of course uh, if you can afford uh, you can uh, try the private car okay private car go directly is about five and a half hours maximum uh yeah uh, so it's roughly uh about four to five million it depends on you know you know that locals or not okay so the third thing is the accommodation there will be a lot of accommodation types uh depending on where 
or uh, what kind of classes you want to try okay there will be um, the homestay uh, yeah where you stay with the local people simply a mattress on the floor yeah but you know uh, it's very good vibe because uh, uh, you know you um, uh, maybe sleeping uh, in the middle of the rice fields or in the middle of nowhere yeah and the local people are very very friendly and of course they can be able to speak English and you know they can help you with a, a lot of things so uh, yeah uh, and yeah it cost you very cheap it's just like uh, five or five dollars a night uh, but you have to buy your dinner and okay so you better uh, you better to book uh, your accommodation in advance because uh, Sapa is well known for tourists so it tends to uh, be very fully booked uh, at the weekend yeah and the third thing is the, about the weather and clothing because the weather is very capricious in Sapa you know this morning it was very very nice uh, uh, sunny and so something like that but now it's completely raining yeah so you have to prepare you know and if you are going to the rooftop of fancy pan which is uh, uh, um, a stunning mountain where the cable car is you have to uh, prepare a very thick jacket because up there on the top is 3143 meters above sea level so the weather is always about 10 degrees uh, uh, difference with the Sapa town okay so it means if in Sapa is about 15 degrees so then on the rooftop of fancy pan is about five degrees and it is very very cold okay and uh, yeah and you have to prepare about the rain gear as well yep so uh, something like that uh, you have to prepare an umbrella maybe it's not very uh, commonly used uh, for you but in Vietnam most of the people we have um, um, handy uh, umbrella okay so uh, and uh, you have to prepare uh, the currencies and money uh, okay you can uh, exchange at the bank uh, to get the Vietnamese dong okay Vietnamese dong is uh, you know of course is you can use in uh, almost every corner in, in Vietnam but you also can use uh, American dollars or Singaporean dollars but uh, yeah you definitely lose something so I mean for example if you uh, uh, come to a restaurant and if you uh, buy some food and it costs you 200,000 Vietnam dong then it's about $10 if you pay in, in USD okay but if you pay in vietnam dong then you save up forty thousand. okay so it's always better to use uh local money local currency okay so uh, the atm is uh available almost uh everywhere in sapa town so don't worry about uh yeah the, <laughs> but the fee of course you have to pay the fee uh yeah so um the cash is you need the cash to spend in Sapa in this region okay and about the uh, uh, activities and tour okay so you need to find some local guys or something like that so I will be able I will be available here and if you want to uh, go on a hike or something because Sapa is a mountainous area and of course uh, when you traveling here in Sapa, you need to go for hiking uh, from Sapa to go to remote villages and it costs you maybe uh, about uh, 20 to about $30 uh, a day trip, depending on, you know, uh, what is the size of your group. Okay, so the language, of course, uh, in Sapa, English is spoken in every corner. Okay. Uh, I mean, if you go to a restaurant or hotels or something like that, yeah, the local people uh, can uh, speak uh, very good English, yeah. And yeah, so I guess that's everything you need to prepare for the trip. And uh, I really hope that to see you in Sapa for a cup of coffee. <laughs>
Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, and if you have any question, uh, don't forget to you know just leave it uh, in the um, uh, comment section, and I'll be um, responding all of the questions. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.